on my dance, on my dance, on my dance. See, I'm doing. I did my jump rope to it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing fake this is jump my, rope. This is my white girl dance. Dance room. for me, dance for me, dance, dance for me. For me. Uh, uh. And the face too. Do you do the face? <laughs> I do. I love it. I, I do, do that, that face, face all the time now. I do. <laughs> Every time I dance, I have to do your face. I'm so sorry. Um, we will talk about uh, contemplating starting an only OnlyFans later, <laughs> but for now, because <laughs> I thought about it some more. Did you? Last oh, night, yeah, last, last night. night. You didn't? No, I didn't. But I will say this, is I had regrets last night. I had regrets. Oh, what'd you have regrets about? Do you remember <laughs> when we did our beauty hacks during the quarantine? Yes. And I did that foot mask. Oh. Now, I was worried about that, to be honest with you. My feet have not been the same. It doesn't seem right. You know, it's like chemically peeling. It literally took a whole layer off the bottom of my feet no joke my feet have been sweatier since and i don't think it's i don't think it's a placebo not or like a mental thing right i'm just overthinking it like i'm noticing it for example when i hopped into the bed last night right my feet you know like i'm clean i don't feel dirty i don't feel sticky but my feet are sticky and gross feeling and i'm and i don't like that feeling i like them feeling smooth and clean and sliding into the sheets but instead they felt kind of like wet dude what are you gonna do about it i just i had to wash my feet last night again (laughs) but like how do you get that skin back dude? so it it just will happen over time this reminds me a little bit a little bit of steer training so when we do we different we did different biome training, right? So we did one in the temperate environment, one in the Arctic environment. We did training in the tropical environment. In tropical environment, it rained fucking nonstop. I mean, you're drenched the whole time. And most, like, a lot of us got a very mild case of trench foot, which is when your skin gets so wet, right? It's mm-hmm, like when a mm-hmm, kid's in the mm-hmm. bathtub for a really long mm-hmm. time and it starts getting really wrinkly and pruney on your feet and it starts to, like, slough. Your skin starts to kind of, like, move and slough off. Mm-hmm. And you have to heal it, right? Uh-huh. So, of course, like, you shouldn't be walking on as much. You need to keep it super dry, change your socks and, you know, all the time. Uh, the worst part is, is that once you get it, it kind of doesn't go away for a bit, maybe ever, if your feet, like, truly heal. Yeah. You know, so my feet would sweat all the time. And sometimes when they would get wet and it would dry again, they would feel like I was standing on, like, pricklies, you know, like, needles. So I think by the time they finally got normal, I just fucked them up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were finally back to normal, and you know what? Let me just try. But this is good. This is an so, update. Well, I had no idea it was going to be that bad to do that foot mask. So I will yeah. say this. If you don't mind your feet being, like, super soft and kind of super smooth, and I don't know. I think maybe my feet are different Yeah. when it comes to that. Like, I need them tough. I need them calloused. I need, you know, them yeah. to work with me with running and rucking and doing whatever else. Like, I... That was not a smart move I think on my part. I, I beat up my feet just in general, sure. too. So, like, they can't... Like, when you were doing that, I was like, oh, that's awesome. But, like, I can't have a tender foot, if yeah. you know what I mean. Like, it needs to be able to, like I said, be in a shoe, a high heel for way too long, or yeah. run, or barefoot outside or having to run out to get something from, like, hot cement by the pool. All these things, right? Uh-huh. Like... I don't think it took... It scared me a little bit. I don't think it made my feet more sensitive. Yeah, I yeah. think it literally just fucked with whatever type of layering system yeah, of yeah, my yeah. feet. And my feet are like, cool, bitch, we're going to be sweating all the time. And your feet are going to feel yeah, fucking nasty. because you don't have that, like, that foot. I don't even know what the foot scientific skin. terms is. Foot but skin. Yeah, I was like, It's like cool. ball skin. It's just like a different type of skin, <laughs> right? You can't recreate it Can anywhere else. else. Could you imagine if some guy's ball skin, like the top layer? Was Took just, off all the layers? Ooh. And it was just like hand skin or something. Ugh. I don't even imagine types. that would be weird. I'm yeah, not so. a scientist, but they're all there are different types of skin. And you uh, talking right now, yeah. Well, makes me I'll realize. tell you this. I went down a Google rabbit hole the other night, okay. even just after like some of our discussion. Yeah, because you and I even talked about like why the fuck did we wake up and our face feels puffy? Ooh, like dude. we both were on the same page that day. Which yeah. We got, like, good sleep. We didn't, like, no. eat a bunch of sugar, eat gross, drink, or anything. It's just a Not day. Not, like, a lot of sodium intake either. It's the puffy week. 
I don't right? even know. Yeah, I don't even know. So I looked it up, right? Ooh, to see if the atmospheric now. or the uh, barometric pressure mm-hmm. had anything to do with it. And they were like, no. <laughs> Sorry, you're just. Because that's what we thought. Gross. Yeah. Because we were like, it's been raining. It's something. Maybe the pressure. How do we both have like, it? I've been putting spoons on my face. Yeah. Um, the only thing that really said, you know, and why you're why fluid will collect on your skin is because it's either like stress allergies it could be food water sunlight pollen but i'm guessing mine's probably stress i would say stress definitely stress i always think i'm not stressed but then and i think in reality i just my constant state of stress yeah yeah yeah. so you just don't realize it anymore (laughs) <laughs> so I, my mom is in town. She's a chiropractor. Oh, I love it. And yeah. And so when I'm really stressed, uh, ribs go out and it's hard oh. to tell when ribs go out, but it's like, it's sort of like, feels like it's poking. You know, when you're like back yep. hurts ever and it feels just like one poke and it's like hard to breathe or whatever. Oh, okay, it usually yeah. happens when you're very stressed or something has happened. That's like emotionally, you just like all tense up yeah. and your ribs go out. So thankfully, thankfully, she was here. Yeah. And like popped that back in and was like, holy shit. Oh my God. Your ribs are way out. I need to start going stressed. to a chiropractor again. I, d- I like, uh, me I too. went when, like, I went before the military. Yeah. Like, our family particularly holds stress in our backs, like, really badly. I must too. Like, it's just yeah. crazy. And w- my dad's had us all adjusted. I'm telling you, like, made the world a Ooh, difference. Oh, I love it. And once I started, once I did my How training. How progressive of him, right? by the way. Yeah. He's been doing this for a long time. Love it. He's very big on just taking care of his body because he's been an athlete his whole life. Yeah. And he just wants to stay in shape and try to do everything as naturally as he can. He's love not, it. it's just more homeopathic. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, he'll still take care of himself the way he needs to with other means. Like, he's gotten hip replacement surgery sure like, you know what i mean yeah yeah uh so he had us go and i remember remember specifically i think it was after we carried like the huge pack on our back which by the way was like 120 pounds right just oh yeah he was yeah, like yeah. tiff that's compressing your spine mm-hmm. like it's not good for you and you know you're jumping around with that stuff on, you know stuff yeah, yeah, on your yeah. back from time to time jumping out of planes like he always got concerned about yeah and uh every time i'd come in town at least for a bit there like for the first few years when i was still in my younger 20s he'd have me get adjusted and i'm telling you whoo the doc would be like oh yeah like it's really bad right like, and I, no joke since i've joined the military i've lost maybe three-fourths inch if not in my height of weight of height <laughs> <laughs> i wish in my weight you know you have but uh, uh, my your height, height dude. holy shit like i came in almost at five like a five good five nine yeah, now you're five eight. You say I am closer to five seven. Shut up. No joke. No way. Yeah, and I don't know. I think that just happens over time, right? Yeah. Like I'm sure there's people out there who's like scientific and be like, "Ladies, that's not true." But right. I do believe that, of course, like compressing your body over time. I, both my knee surgeries, I'm sure, doesn't help with maybe ligaments and sure. certain tendons just like slowly just dissipating. Yeah, inside of me, and then. Having, you know, thousands of jumps, which they talk about jumping out of a plane anyway, and having that parachute open as like a micro, you know, I don't want to say contusion, but it's like, it's like being in a mini car accident every single time. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's just traumatic. Constantly. constantly. Kind of for yeah, your, yeah, yeah. For your body. Mm-hmm. As fun as it is, static line is not yeah. fun. Like that's yeah. the one where it just whips you open and you're under a round parachute and then you hit the ground going like 22 miles an hour. Dude. I know, 18 to 22. I think it's 18 to 24 now. Miles per hour. You just feet knees together, bitch. Just. Dang. If you make it, you make it. Roll over. Like. Whoa. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so that's probably it. My dad would be like, yeah, we're going to. Yeah, that's probably it. Get you adjusted. I was like, thank you but so much. But there are people on here that will be like, I would never go to a car practice. Dan is one of our. Is, oh, he would never is, go? Oh, no. To me, I'm the type Doesn't of person. Doesn't believe. Da, really? da, da. Oh, I would just say, I don't knock it till I try it. That, I do see where he's coming from, where it's like CrossFit, where you either need to do it all the time mm. or not at all. You can't just go. I agree with that. One time. Like, I can't just only get adjusted when my mom is here, which is what it is. And then it just goes right back out. And then it's sort of like, mm, it's what's like the point? It's like good for your body, in all honesty, yeah. right? Like, you can't just moisturize one day and think that your skin's going <laughs> to, right, stay good for a year. Yeah. You can't just get Botox once and things that you're forehead's yeah, going to be I wish. non-wrinkly, right? So That's what I thought it was when you I have first to, like, got upkeep. it. Same thing with working out and the health of your body. So I get it. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's just something, it's like a massage too. It releases the stress and the tense, you know, like your tense. Am I using that word right? Yeah. What, when you're tense? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, that sounds so stupid, doesn't it's it? It's early. It's early in like the morning. Like stress, it is. You're yeah. stressed. Yeah. When you're tense, it releases. When you're tense. The, yeah. Yeah, it's no, you're your right. tense. <laughs> when wow, what? words. When you're what? White person thing to say. When you're tense? When you're tense. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah. It releases it. Yeah. Because we feel it in our shoulders right here. Like, I don't know yeah. about you, but I feel it right in here. So that's what happens is you I kind feel like of, it's just. You're just constantly um, contracted, right? Tensing up. Mm -hmm. And then it gets you your fucking bones out of. It, it makes sense. When, anytime somebody's like, to a fucking chiropractor photo. It's like, it's scientifically, like, makes sense. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, the only your muscles are pulling your spine, like, out of whack. Correct. The only thing that's scary, slightly. Yeah. But it's kind of cool at the same time. It's when they like do the neck thing, the Van Dam. And they tell you to like, hey, just relax, move your feet, and then it's like, Whoa. and I mean, I they've been putting more and more videos of chiropractors on TikTok and just doing very quick adjustments. And this guy, I don't know what he did, some weird kung fu looking move, like had the guy's arm like that. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it was the loudest adjustment I've ever heard. And I was like, dude, how are you, how are you alive? Yeah, right. But I mean, the guy was like, oh, you could tell. So everything was just leaving his body. Yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. This feels so great. Yeah, that's the only scary thing sometimes. Because I've looked up before, like, can you die <laughs> from? Yeah, from that. Oh yeah, because it's the Jean Claude Van Damme, right? Where you're like, you see it in every action movie where how they yeah. kill you is it's just exactly what they're doing, and so you're like, this doesn't feel right. But yeah, but they do it. I mean, they're, and they're good. Yeah, so good on them for it. So I that need, was one thing that I googled. Um, I need Ross to grab my uh, self tanner. Should I call or just leave a message? If he answers, it might be funny. Should I? Yeah, call. Okay. Uh, which self tanner is Saint Tropez? Saint Tropez. Saint -Tropez. I Tropez. fucking love it. Um, have That's you been my using it? Jam, yeah. It looks good. I was going to say you always look tan. I and haven't used it on my face yet, but my arms and my legs. Do you see that? The little. You see it? Lines a little. Yeah, bit. a little bit of lines. But that's just after. That well, doesn't I think, happen I think when you first get it. I think it's called pure laziness because this is when I did those drops, which I do still love the drops. Yeah, this yeah, This is yeah. when I did the drops, and I think it was just The pure. drops, I feel like, are good for um, your face, right? Because like, I did it for I, my face, but I don't think I want to do it anymore for my face. Hi. Hi. Um, you're on air, but I was wondering if you could grab my, my self-tanner from the top drawer of my vanity. Great. Yeah, of course. Yeah, are you gonna be able to find? I'm. Are you gonna be able to find it? I just need you to use your looking eyes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll use my looking eyes for sure. Okay. For sure. Um, can you just take a look see right now and just like see if you can find it <laughs> and the pad that the, the that you need to wipe it on with. Is you know that extra? like yeah, the glove. I, you would you would say that that's probably the top priority of this trip is some self tanner. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I will grab that for you and bring it to work. Gosh, you're you're a real sweetie. Yeah, you're, you're a you're real a pie sweetie pie and apple of my eye. Don't forget those looking okay. eyes. Yeah, just make sure you use your looking eyes and your remembering your remembering brain too. Okay. You got it, baby doll part. All right, bye bye. <laughs> like they can never fucking find shit, right? Oh, the, 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 like I'll the be minute. like, it's right there, it's right there, and they're like, the uh, minute that you uh, said looking eyes. I was like, oh, man. It, well, it was like when you were younger. And your mom would be like, hey, Tiff, can you go grab this? Yeah. And you'd be like, and it's sitting right in front sitting of you. Right and there. you're like, I don't uh, know, uh, mom, where it's at. Uh, she's like, it's uh, literally right here. And here comes another white person phrase. If it was a snake, it wouldn't bet you. That's a good one. That's right? a good one. Yeah. Is it, but it's true. Yeah. Like, it's so true. Yeah. And he'll be like, I don't know. I just can't find it. And I'll walk like I'm a total bitch about it, too, I have to say. True. But I'll like walk up very slowly. Just <laughs> grab it, right? In front of us. It's all right. And I'll be like, it's all right. I got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bitchy, right? But it's just happened way too many times where thing. I'm just like, bro, it is right there. It is right there. If he calls me back and is like, I can't find it, I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, you know when I, I think about it, I haven't asked. So I'm oh, thinking I in my just head. I don't do it anymore. I don't even ask Chris maybe to find things for oh, me. Oh, I don't do it anymore. Or maybe he's just good at it. I don't think I ask him. Maybe that's why. I don't I, have that you've issue. You definitely I don't, stopped. I don't probably. think I do. 
right maybe just for my own pure sanity i think you definitely were like you know what if i'm gonna have to go get it myself anyways yeah unless it's literally something where i'm not at the house i'm going on a trip i need you to do it otherwise i just do it yeah because it's always a thing of like ah, he always am i crazy I, am i crazy i'm just not seeing yeah it. Because I, I can imagine here. right now if Chris and I were cooking together, which traditionally it's either one or the other. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. We, yeah we just yeah. take turns. Which I love. If I was like, hey, can you grab this? He, he would be like, where? I'm sure that when he cooks, I mean, he, he cooks great, but I'm sure it takes him a while. Sure. To try to figure it out. To, to still, try and figure it out. And while I love the effort, and I always give him credit for that, of him placing things so in the I. wrong area. Um, <laughs> so do I. So do I. Still, I'm always happy. I'm like, well, you emptied the dishwasher, so I can't give you shit. Can't like, give you shit. I'll just laugh. Like that's all I can do now is just laugh because I'm like, what? In my head, I'm like, where did you? We've like, lived here for you? four years. Yeah. How do you not? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So. And the remembering brain too <laughs> of like, can you get me this? Come home. Oh fuck, dude. You oh. got. You gotta remind. I'm like, I texted you. Yeah. I called you. Reminded you before I left. <laughs> I made you a list. Didn't I use wrote your it on your eyes. arm on, with Sharpie. And for Literally your on your arm with yeah, Sharpie. No, yeah. How did you not oh, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, no, honestly. I'll be like, I have to write it somewhere. Uh, uh. I'm like, it's like when you're in high school and you write like cute notes on your hands mm-hmm. or homework due because you thought it was cool mm-hmm. and then you still always forgot because all you cared about was what was under your hand. Did you ever play that game? Like a boy's names? Yeah. Um, like, we didn't do it on the hand. Oh, you didn't? We, we would do it on the inside of the hand, oh, okay. I think. Where your friend would write some guy's name. Okay. Right? And you couldn't look at it for the rest of the day. You could guess, like, right away. Sure. And you can guess in front of her with your hand down. If you guess right, you didn't have to marry him. Oh. But if you ever looked, you'd have to marry him. So, of course, I know. It was the stupidest no, shit. No, no. I love it. was it. like MASH. We used to do <gasps> those, like, those thingies. Yep. And it was all about boys and who you're going to marry and who Same. you like and all, all of it. You pick, yep. And it would be like the color of your house or like the guy you're going to yeah. marry or how many kids. I love Do you remember things, MASH? Actually. MASH? You yes. MASH? Yes. It was mansion, yes. apartment, shack, house. Yes. And then the thing you would pick like five. So you would pick four guys and then your friends would pick one guy. Right? Okay. For you. And then you would pick four numbers for kids and then your God, friends would pick. Yeah one number yeah and of course when my sister and i did it to each other we would pick like the guy that they hate it yeah we would pick like a hundred fucking kids mm-hmm. <laughs> 100 you know what fucking i mean kids sure. we would pick like for animals we'd be like a fucking crocodile like yeah. for a pet you know what i mean so you'd pick all the weird ones and yeah your friend i mean they would still pick four good ones and somehow they always end up with a fucking shack marrying yep. You know, Josh, who they fucking hate it, and having 100 kids with Josh. But at least they somehow always. But at least they had a million dollars. Yeah. And that's how it ended up. Oh, my God. The things that we used to do to determine our future that. We're just, like, writing the last name, like, your name with the last name of the guy you like. I've done it, like, one time, but it didn't really do it for me. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. I think because I never, like... I was never like thinking about marriage at a young age. I wasn't you? either. Like I wasn't the person who's like, oh my god, I can't wait to get married. Same. Oh. I just wanted to have a boyfriend. It was like kind of for sure. I wasn't thinking of like committing and like the house and kids. Yeah. Pretty much ever, ever. until like <laughs> thirty is when I just started to maybe think about something yeah. that I wanted to do. If anything, those games were fun. They were just if fun. We, if, if if anything, it's like the adult version of doing horoscope. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And oh, like, maybe or that. your astrology signs. Mm-hmm. It's almost the same thing when you think about it. And people might get mad because like, that shit's real. It's it's still something that you would look at and be like, oh, is this fun or hopeful or funny? Yeah. Or like, oh my gosh, maybe this can and be it true. I don't know. it makes you feel know. good or sure. makes you feel like, shit, you're going to be with Josh. It was just something entertaining. Then, yeah. With a hundred <laughs> yeah. kids. Like, God whatever. damn it, Josh and a hundred kids. <laughs> end up. Some of them While probably, we have a million dollars. Yeah. Some of them probably did ultimately end up with that person. Right? Sure. Can you imagine? Oh, my gosh. And they had the mash paper. I know. Like, and they oh. fucking framed it in their house. Oh, that would be creepy. Oh, <laughs> you. <laughs> your stupid mash paper. Um, what else did you go down your... Oh, do you know what I tried recently? What? Um, so it's really crazy The with social media. So Instagram is... So Facebook is, I think kind of on the fence with this where you have some groups and pages where people like share 
um, things that they learn or products. And yeah, yeah. Girl, you know, girls or guys talk about stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then just normal people on Facebook don't talk about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then you have Instagram, which I feel is like the influencer haven. And everyone's like, oh my God, I like I have the perfect hair, yeah. perfect this. And a lot of times people don't want to give up the secrets or talk about how they got that body yeah. or how they look that good. They want to act like right? it's all natural. Correct. Right. <laughs> I woke up like this, bitch. Yeah. And then you have TikTok, which is the complete other end of the spectrum where everyone's just like, I'm going to give you all my go-tos, all my secrets. Yeah. I'll tell you exactly how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. It's just people just helping each other out Yeah, with products like, dude, I tried this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, magic powder. It's called magic. Okay. Um, you can find it at Walmart, literally in like your shaving section, right? So if you go in and you find all the razors, you'll have um, some of the aftershave products and you'll have some beard products um, right there. And it's literally, it looks like one of those, you know, <clears throat> the cleaning products your mom used to use, like Comet and stuff, yep. like in the fucking bathroom in that yep. tin can. It looks very similar to that. I still use that only because it's like ingrained in my head that that's the like best the way best to get it. The best thing to do. I know. I know. Isn't it weird? That and uh, what's that other spray? Like Pledge. Yeah. Where you're like, like I grew up using those. Here we are. Here we are. And we're Here fine. We are. We're our mom. And uh, so it's in a very similar can, right? And it's gold. And it's this powder that you mix up into like a, a, a paste. Okay. And you put it on your hairy ass legs. Okay. Or arms or face or whatever. And four minutes later, you wipe it off and there goes your hair. So it's like Nair? It's similar to Nair. I've never fully done Nair before. I have friends who've done Nair. They hated it because it stung. It burned. It ting you know, any tingle. It just and wasn't. And the smell was yeah. fucking it's horrible. It's the smell of Nair and the way that your legs, the way that if you do it on your legs, they just don't feel, you know, like when you shave, it's like a. Super soft and smooth. Something. Yeah. It just wasn't like that. That's what I've heard. So I can't, I personally can't compare it. Okay. So e either way, I looked for the powder. Right. Literally, I, when I saw the video, I think it had a million views or something. My Walmart, which by the way, I don't live in a big area. Yeah. It was all sold out of it. Of the powder? Yes, already. Fuck. And this, so that's just how big, I guess, yeah, TikTok yeah. is. So what I did the next best thing, I got the magic beard cream. So it was a cream in a bottle. Okay. And I was like, fuck it. If it works on a goddamn beard on someone's Dude, face, it can it sure may work be able on my to... legs. So my legs were super hairy. I was in Sasquatch mode, quarantine legs. Okay. And same thing with the bush, right? My sure. bits were just like, what's up, Forrest? Yeah. And I used it everywhere. Uh-huh. Left it on for the max, which was seven minutes. Okay. Because I was like, I don't want to go over that. Mm -hmm. Nothing tingled. Nothing smelled bad. Like, it didn't even, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, just, I honestly walked around the house and fulfilled some orders while I did it. There you go. <laughs> love to. Just white Love down. to picture it. Love yeah. to picture it. In a, a t-shirt tucked up, just all white down. The just completely it. naked. Winnie the pooing the fuck out of it. <laughs> Wiped it off with a wet washcloth. Okay. Gone. Smooth as a fucking baby. Shut bottom. up. I'm not even fucking kidding. So you did this yesterday? No, or a couple I did days it. Ago? When did I do it? Like four or five days ago. Because I texted okay. Chris. I was like, when you come home, I got a surprise for you. Know. He doesn't care how smooth sure. or hairy I am. Sure. Because he's like, I'm a real man. Right. Uh, but I was, I was so excited about it. And it was kind of similar to shaving. Yeah. Where the next day it wasn't as smooth. Like you can tell like sure. things were starting to slowly grow back. Yeah, yeah. But I got no razor bumps. Like, I mean, because obviously you're not using a razor, but I got no bumps, no irritation, no nothing. And that's the reason why I went away from shaving my legs in the first place and the cooch mm -hmm. is because I was getting really bad razor bumps. I don't know when it, my body decided to change. Yeah. But as yeah. I got older, it was getting really bad. Yeah. And I remember specifically when I lived in California, I'm always wearing shorts. Yeah. Right. And I would get so embarrassed because I'd have very big razor bumps like near my butt cheeks yeah, or yeah, yeah. on my legs. And you could see them ridiculously bad in shorts and it was yeah. embarrassing and so by the way self tanner on those looks really bad not great <laughs> they get darker yeah and they stick out even more i have more. that too yeah, yeah yeah so that's why i went to waxing now the only unfortunate thing about waxing though is that you have to grow it out long enough i know right for an order that's to when i'm like wax to work and that and work you have when to have time to make the fucking appointment go well, in time to make the appointment or if you do it yourself it takes like it takes me twice as long yeah and it's Wax is not cheap either. Like I get a bag for twenty dollars, and I traditionally use a bag almost when I wax. Yeah. Sometimes. So this bottle was two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. I used the whole bottle. Gone. 
like no bumps no irritation no nothing wow i was so impressed what's the the brand is magic it's powder called, like or? it's m- called magic this one was called magic beard cream okay and it sounds like magic is maybe like the brand or magic something. is the brand okay uh of it yeah magic is the brand and they have magic shaving powder they have magic cream and so by the way the two creams that they had and by the way we're not endorsed by them this is just like no, again no. a product that i use that i'm sharing with you yeah, guys yeah, yeah it could like could be like the fucking foot mask where it's like Ugh. oh and now something later on yeah. but this was about almost a week ago and i think i would have noticed something wrong something yeah um but they have two different cream ones one's for your face for your beard at least the one that I saw. And, so and then you put an- it on and it just disappears. Uh-huh. And another one's for fucking bald heads. And I thought to myself, huh. if it's good enough, if it's okay to put on the face, yeah. it's good to put on the bits. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, for sure. You can put it on your no-no square. Literally everywhere. Yeah, I wonder. So like Ross gets like, doesn't shave sometimes because it's, and Ingrowns. guys do too, just because it's like, you don't want to irritate your face by shaving that much. Mm-hmm. But like. I wonder. I want to hear some like testimonial from guys. There's guys right here. Actually, I just when I Google it, magic Interessant. razorless shave cream. The secret to looking younger. Yeah, you know what's funny now is if the military ever catches wind of this, all the guys who are on a shaving waiver. So there's some guys in the military, right? You have Please to shave explain. every day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Guys have to shave every day. Clean face. You know, clean hair. Can't touch the ears. Sidebars can't be longer than extended, like down past yeah, like, yeah, yeah. the inner ear. Uh, it has to be clean in the back, like a very professional look. Mm-hmm. There's some people who get shaving waivers because apparently shaving is so traumatic for their skin that it just like breaks them out and stuff like that. And they either, I would say it's one or two things. They get the waiver because they really need it, right? From a medical professional, they're like, oh my God, this is really for bad. Sure. This is terrible for your skin. You need to stop shaving. For sure. You get other people who are just trying to get the fuck out of shaving. Yeah. And they're trying to, you know, right. skim the system. Scam the system. Well, shaving every day clean? That can't be good for I mean, anyone. It's kind of like it's part of the middle there, though. For like, sure. You know what I mean? For and sure. Unless, so like with our steer guys, like when they're out in the field, they don't have to shave. Um, you know, like guys who deploy, like certain guys who deploy, like my husband, like they grow beards before they deploy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And certain guys get away with lax standards for certain things but yeah so with this now if they catch wind of this they're gonna be like bitch you can shave if they do guess what guess what here's the magic powder here's oh some, yeah. no because sometimes you'll see guys that are on shaving waivers okay. and they still shave like outlines yeah which by the way if you have a shaving waiver you can't shave at all yeah and that means you can't you shave have to the be top like of your full face. on you can't shave hairy. the bottom it has to grow in however white trash patchy it grows in Interesting. it has to grow like that yeah so, so you, you know. do have to make a choice. Like if you have a, if you want the shaving waiver, like you have to know that you, you're going to have some fucking weird hair, right? Correct. But it's just what uh, you have to do. Okay. So if they figure out and you have to carry this waiver with you in your pocket, because as you can imagine being in the military uniform and kind of looking a little bit like a scrub, <laughs> you know what it, I mean? Yeah. Unless you have like a full on beard beard. Yeah. You traditionally look very, look, looks like you woke up late and you forgot to shave. Sure. A lot of people are like, excuse me, sir. And yeah. then they're like, yeah, hey, I got this waiver. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse <laughs> me. Is that how they talk? Excuse me. Um, yeah, we'll get Karen's to some, of the Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to some more. Uh, let's get to some sponsors really quick. Yeah. And, and we'll then we'll get, some more Google. get back into your rabbit, your Google rabbit oh, holes, I which some, I love. I got some good stuff. I got some sex stuff next Ooh. that I Googled. You know I love a good sex rabbit hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, First up, as always, we are brought to you by Mm ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Right now, they are doing 25% off everything in the store plus two free pillows and 30% off a bundle. So if you want to get a Lux mattress cooling pillows mm. and an adjustable base 30 percent off of that is going to be an insane value plus that you is. can always do 36 month pay as you go so that you're not given a bunch of money right pay as now. you go is like always the way to go with big purchases too and now i feel confident saying since ghostbed is our um premier sponsor whoop, whoop. that like you are getting a bed what are you going are you going to get a in your oh, guest room, do you want an adjustable base? You need to pick what 
you want because oh God, Rich so is going to send you something. Well, pillows for sure. Pillows for sure. We could start with I've that. Been, like, I've been literally have those. In, like every time yes. I go to buy one, I'm like, hey, I have these in my. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have these in my cart. Yeah. And then I'm like, Whoa. no, don't worry. You're not. We're not buying anything. It's the real deal now. Damn. It's on our fucking logo. Rich. Damn. Rich. I'm excited though about that because now. It's gonna be awesome. they are great quality products and I know everyone who gets them from the drinking bros and drinking bros family fucking loves them. And by the way, when they're shipped to you, I've seen the packaging. It's small as shit in a fucking skinny small ass box. Shit, quick. Your bed. Quick. Um, they, we have not one negative review from the drinking bros community and they have all bought pretty much, um, all of them have bought yeah. something, right? So well, I guess customer service is awesome. Rich yeah. is great. Company's great. They take care of first responders and military. So yeah, we love them. We do. Thanks, Ghost Bed. Happy to have you. Next up, we have StrikeForceEnergy.com. Oh. Promo code LadyBoner. Did you have some? Do we need Using some? some of this on the way home, Way folks. home. You know it. <laughs> right? Like, A little bit of liquid the- energy. Probably I'm going to put some in, in my water bottle. I would. I mean, it helps if you like wake up and you're like, dang, I did not sleep that good, but I still have a fucking full day. Yep. Throw some strike force in your water um, and kind of keep that energy. I think it's Maintain. good to put it in that jug of water, right? Same thing, too. I like to, I don't like mine as strong, but I feel like it keeps you going throughout the day. There's no crash because there's not a lot of junk. There's no preservatives in it. There's no, no gluten, like calories, super sugary yeah. calories. No, it's yeah. just good, clean energy. Good, clean energy. What your body needs to keep going throughout the day. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code LADYBONER. Next up, we have one of our faves, Daily Harvest. I am so excited that we have this sponsor, especially right now, because yeah. I am going back on a kick. You Are know you? How I like to do. Mm-hmm. I like to go back and forth, but I'm going back on a kick. I'm gonna do so. Daily Harvest is what would you say? It's meal delivery, mm-hmm. but it's pre-made, easy to blend and use smoothies, uh, bowls, grain bowls, flatbreads, yeah. all plant-based, oat all organic. Bowls. Yeah, yeah, everything. They have um, like the little oat. They have like these little oat balls. Too. Oh, yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, like, the little cookie bites. Yeah, and those are like always sold out, so I'm like, you know those are good. I know. My my biggest thing that I love from them is, of course, the the smoothies. You know, you can't go wrong. You with can't that. go wrong. They taste amazing, and once you taste it, you won't realize the goodness that you're actually intaking mm-hmm. in your body. Like, you read everything down the side, and you're like, wait, this – this has pumpkin seeds in it and avocado. And ginger that I didn't even taste. Like, things that are so fucking good. For your body. And when you open up that smoothie, too, like when you take off the lid, you see all the products yeah. in there. Like, it's all You're not whole like, foods. oh, it's all blended already. No, it's not blended I don't right. know what's whole in foods, it. Whole mm-hmm. foods, frozen. You just put your liquid in there, dump it all in your blender, and boom, you're good to go. Yeah. The flatbreads were easy, too. You just, again, take those out, put them in the oven, and again, like, so good. You just had your vegetables and carbs in there. The bowls, too. I, um, my favorite one is the cauliflower pesto. And is it's it? Like, Cauliflower, pesto, basil, um, tomatoes. It's so easy. You either just put it in the microwave or put it in a sauté. Like, I like to sauté it because I like to like cook my stuff, but it's super quick. Yeah. They flash freeze everything at the peak of its freshness, so you're getting you super can tell. fresh. Yeah. Uh, we just love Daily Harvest. Anyone who's listened to me here or on Ross Patterson Revolution knows that I've been I know. <laughs> repping their shit even before they sponsored us. This bowl is my favorite the dragon fruit oh my god like bowl. well and i think I it's like 20 of those so lychee is a fruit that i was first introduced to during our tropics phase of training because it was very sweet yeah and it's like traditionally in environments where it rains a lot oh fucking this is like the best bowl i've had the in fruit my life. of the candy right of the earth opal like so good so good yeah go to dailyharvest.com and enter promo code bro to get 20 25 dollars off your first box which is huge savings Mm -hmm. and you won't be disappointed this is something if you guys want to like i said going on a kick and just having all plant-based good ingredients and things in there that are 
like natural remedies you know what i mean ginger turmeric things that like are going to heal your body make you feel better this is the box for you just try one box tell me after that if you don't feel lighter better more energetic from natural ingredients mm -hmm. dailyharvest.com promo code bro for 25 dollars off so excited so good every time i read daily harvest i'm excited they're just it's just clean we just love clean, their company and food. then one last thing their um packaging at this point they're about 50 percent uh biodegradable right 50 percent i think it was yeah, 50% recyclable patch packaging, and they're moving towards 100%. So even that, you just feel good. They're doing when everything right. Right? You just feel good when you're eating it, when you're using it, when you throw it away, all of it. So it's daily harvest. Do it right. Do it tight. Their packaging is really cute, too. <laughs> they I know me. that doesn't matter to some people, but I love it. It when definitely it, matters it comes to me. In, there are like, commercials oh. that got me when they were the girl – in it was an instagram commercial she uh -huh. had white you know they always have white everything have white, white everything. marble white 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 yeah and she's like gorgeous in perfect shape and she just pulls the thing out of the freezer pours a little almond milk in there and she's ready for her day right puts on a blazer yeah she's ready for work i'm like yep that's me that's me i mean it's, it's not, not me but i wanted to be but me. <laughs> exactly <laughs> not me but i'm gonna be that right aspirational yep. shopping oh, that's how they get you no that's how they get you all right What's the sex? What 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 rabbit hole are we going down? So in? well, I mean, I looked up myths. I guess facts and myths of you know how like there's people out there who even honestly even my dad, let's be real, okay, uh, gave me advice on certain positions or certain things to do For to what? get pregnant. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> my dad. Okay. So when I was going, when I went through, is that uncomfortable or no. you guys just like that? Okay. It, It'd be very uncomfortable for me, but me and my dad don't really talk. I just like that. I'm, okay. I've, I am the one, I mean, out of everyone in my family, like I am the one who just like shares everything. I don't, you know, in a respectful manner still, but like I introduced my family and my parents specifically to the game, like Cards Against Humanity. Okay. Where you're like joking about sex yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In front, right, of them. And as I got older, I just, you know, come into like and I came into who I am and just talked to him about things and I just never really held back as yeah. much but I'm not like crude in front of him either yeah right yeah, yeah. like saying certain things and he was coming from the most loving place you can possibly imagine because that. it was um I think it was either when we were trying to get pregnant or it was after my miscarriage I don't know which one it was right but my dad you know my mom had four miscarriages herself um and there's four of us so yeah, you know, yeah. they like they yeah. had time to be trying. And mm -hmm. I think my dad mentioned something what was it? He's just trying to give advice. Right. He's like, hey, Tiff, just make sure, um, you know, if, like Chris is cold down there. Just like warm up, warm up your hands. I think that's what I think this was what he said. Like, don't <laughs> quote me. But I think he said, like, warm up his hands or your hands mm -hmm. and like just. You know, like if his, his balls are warm, oh, the oh. swimmers, your sperm will swim faster. And I was okay. like, <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. I'm, I'm so sorry. I know. I think <laughs> I'm it, only thinking of my own dad. That's all. Oh, but he no, would never. My dad's he would like, never. Because my dad's just like, hey. No, and I like, love and he's that. He's so serious about it too. Like he's not like it's like coming from a scientific serious, place. He's, he's just like, hey, you know, like this is what one thing I heard. You know, yeah, if you yeah, want to like yeah. try it, okay, and just uh, make sure too that like maybe after you just like keep your legs up. That like, one I do know. You know? Yeah, yeah. But then again, like, and he's, but again, he's coming from, like, I love you. I'm your father. I want to be a grandfather, too, but I will never say that and pressure sure. you. And, like, maybe try these things because this is what I've heard from my yeah. buddies and friends. And he's right. He's always about giving advice and helping out his kids. I love it. And so it came from that. And I'm laughing my ass off, of course, because. But, like, silently. Well, it's funny. Kind of like, yeah. Well, yeah, because I'm like, I'm like, dad. dad. He's like, what? Just. You want a kid? Like, I'm trying to you help you. want a kid you. or what? He's not telling me how to have sex, but right, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Dad, dad. Dad, okay. Right? I hear it more from probably my mom, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. And it's yeah. very rare, too, that you would. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I'm like looking up these things. Like, is okay. there certain sex positions that are better to conceive? Okay. Does it help if you put your legs up? You know, I've, se I've done it before. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I saw it on the Big Lebowski. So I did all those like moves that she did that was trying to get pregnant. What was that? So Big Lebowski, you know that? I've seen it, but I don't rem I don't recall. So that. he didn't know actually that 
uh, this girl was coming over to get pregnant. So they uh -huh. had sex, and afterwards she had, like, had her legs up like this, yep. holding on and, like, rolling kind of back and forth. Oh, and okay. And just, like, so just, like, keeping her legs. So I've done that legs. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mainly because, too, I'm like, I don't want come on the bed sheets. Yeah, so yeah. I try to keep it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this would be real. But there has been a few, <laughs> a few times. You know how, like, when you're younger and you would lay on your back? And you would brace your arms like underneath your lower back and kick up your legs straight and try to hold yourself up. Oh, yeah, yeah, Right? Kind yeah. of almost in like a half handstand because your shoulder blades are still on the bed. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a few times I did that and would like kick my feet and bounce up and down. Like, sperm, get the get fuck in Get in there, so, yeah. I didn't know if any of these things truly helped. Right. And apparently a lot of them are myths. I mean, myth, right, is sort of like something that you can't, scientifically say Becca, yeah but that i'm sure there's many accounts yeah but you don't know what to attribute it to right even with the maca root it's like yeah is it or is it just True. a coincidence that all these people, people that started taking it. it right yeah um i don't know so what was it so i was reading and i have it pulled up here um you know they're talking about like well and they brought up many other myths too but like Sex positions, we can just talk about quickly. Okay. Uh, they brought up any position that would get the penis deeper, essentially, inside of you is better. Mm -hmm. um, and they also mentioned, like, missionary is still good, though. Yeah. Because, like, the guy's on top and just is doing his yeah. thing. Traditionally, that's what they also said, too. Like, if the guy can be on top, pushing in deep, and a woman's hips can be elevated mm -hmm. somehow just like naturally yeah that would be better with the swimmers but they said essentially if a guy has healthy sperm it he should be fine yeah it doesn't really matter yeah. uh these may be positions probably for maybe guys with like low sperm count so something like this right? apparently i was when i was reading last night dick size can determine too whether like guys get pr women pregnant or not or I guess it helps increase. It yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, guess yeah. they said that with a shorter dick, it's harder to, like, get the sperm in, in I it, guess. In there. I mean, but they're supposed, know. they're meant to That's what I mean. Are swim, they supposed to, like, right? swim, though? Yeah. So maybe the motility is low of the sperm. Like, I don't fucking know any of this shit. But I've heard, I don't know if this is true either, but, like, if you guys are orgasming at the same time. Yeah. I've heard that. So that was another, that was one of these things too that said, um, in order con to conceive, you have to have an orgasm. And they're like, myth. Could you imagine that if women had to orgasm to have kids, how many? There'd be nobody there'd walking be the no, earth. <laughs> there'd be no yeah. children. There'd be no children walking the earth. Um, <laughs> no, but like at the same time, like that just doesn't always happen. It definitely happens. Like, I've heard it is good though, because when a woman is orgasming right thing she's kind contracting of, yeah and it's like basically getting like kind of pulled in at the same time and i honestly like when him and i are able to come together yeah exactly like, I, all the time so we try to do that when we can saliva is the most fertility friendly lubricant to conceive and it says myth so this is a myth you would think that body fluids would get along but no saliva is a sperm killer apparently Really? Mm -hmm. In fact, the truth is that most lubricants and massage oils are fertility unfriendly. Yeah, so I had to get one that was like fertility friendly, like or it was Chris all got natural. One that yeah, I'm <sighs> like it has to say on it, which I definitely like. Uh, I think it was like six months in. I was like, fucking what? Yeah, it was like okay, and then got like a natural, all natural, or I think there is even some that promote it. I think there's some too. There was one that Chris got. I forget what it was called, but it, the only weird part about it is the application of it because you like squeeze it into like a tube. Oh. Yeah. So you like push it down into a tube mm -hmm. and then you put the tube up in you. So it's. Oh, or coconut oil. Is coconut oil? I think coconut oil, I, I think is what I read. Too. So like coconut oil is not, is all, all natural, all good, doesn't hurt anything. Mm hmm. Um, so I think I switched to that. I've actually used that before. It's good. When I didn't have like any lube and some guy came over one time when I was single and I was like, yeah, I'm it's just, good. I just took a little, yeah, <laughs> couple finger dab of that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So they talk about all these other things that if it takes you longer to get pregnant, you're more likely to conceive a boy. And it said that's somewhat a fact. And I'm kind of hoping 
That's true. That that's true. <laughs> you know why? Was for me. Because I would love yeah. a boy. Yeah. I mean, I, I just want to baby. Uh, <laughs> let's just be real. And that, let's see. It talks about like drinking alcohol and your caffeine intake too. Like mm. if those things can prevent. So of for course it says sure. too much alcohol can definitely mess with a woman's cycle. Um, so it's either best to cut back. How are these crackheads getting pregnant then? I, so here's my thing. It's like, like it's yes and with no, right? drugs and with alcohol. Like you, it seems like so many people are like wasted all the time and constantly getting pregnant. The alcohol thing. I don't really trust unless you have like, I feel like you have to be issues. I feel like you have to be 100% alcoholic. Like, like you were drinking hardcore drinking all the half time. Half a bottle each night of like. Booze, how many booze. people are like accidentally pregnant when they had like nights out of fucking i mean i know there's some people i know or even me too when i found out i was with my first i was like oh my god i was like drinking partying so hard yeah without knowing yeah you know what i mean i had a friend my old uh boss's wife who so when she got pregnant, she goes, I had an inclination that I was pregnant. She was like, but I didn't know. And I wasn't going to take a test. Right. She goes, because I had my girls weekend. Oh, you drink until the pink. And you know she this. fucking, she was like, I burned it fucking down. Yeah. And she's like, I didn't want to take the test because I didn't care at that point. And she's like, and then of course, later on, I took the test and yeah. I realized I was pregnant. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> but I always had that like same thing too. Because when I did get pregnant, I was like, man, that night that like chris told me i should take a test because he thought it was weird that i wasn't downing the sushi and drinking wine right so we went to a winery yeah he's like you don't want wine I'm yeah like, and that's the thing is you i'm sure she burnt it down but she like it was probably harder for her to like drink do you know what i mean like who knows i don't know you like, do so but you like yeah. yeah yeah i'm sure like part of me would even still in my head drink if i was drinking be like oh but what if i am yeah yeah that would be hard but you just you wonder like if these things affect it and coffee too they're talking about like you know cutting back on caffeine like there is too there is such a thing as too much caffeine i but do says, believe that just in yeah. life and yeah well it <laughs> says stick to no more than 200 milligrams a day which is equivalent to 12 ounces of brewed coffee or two shots of espresso when you're trying to conceive yeah and like yeah so i'm like okay i mean chris drinks a lot of energy drinks i know that but i don't think that would ha- I don't know if that affects a guy or not. Yeah. You guys went to the doctor with him, right? Yeah. Like, so before they even put us on anything at all, they had had to make sure that he was, we had, we both had to get tested. So he got, I got referral to be off base, which Mm -hmm. was good to a woman's clinic. Mm -hmm. Um, And then he just did his on base. Yeah. So his, he got his sperm tested, and the, fr- the problem is the first time he did it, like, he just had did a dirt bike oh, race. Oh, that's right. So the guy was like, okay, this is fuck- fucking scratch this shit. Like, come back. Right. So he's fine. Uh, he's, he's good. They checked my eggs out, and they're like, yep, you're fine. And I was like, okay. well, that's good. Just and a then timing thing. They wanted to check my ovaries to right. make sure there was no issues. And then also they, <laughs> they cleared my fallopian tubes. Mm. Have you had that no. procedure before? I forget what it's called. Uh, it's not fun. So they go in and they push in a dye mm. uh, into your fallopian tubes. And it feels like you literally have hot boiling water just being thrown up your vagina. It was. That can't be good. No, it was not. So like you're laying there on a, like, a CAT scan table, yeah. right? And you're just like in. St- now, I wouldn't even say stirrups because my legs were just up on the yeah, table. Yeah. And he comes in and he's like, you're going to feel some pressure. And he's got you know, some speculum pressure. in me. Yeah. And he literally, like, oh, at first what he had to do is, I guess my uterus was, like, turned or something. I don't know. So he had to turn it, like, move it, I guess. And I was like, that didn't fucking feel good. So it felt like really bad cramps. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I like, guess he put up the liquid dye, which is the same thing that they use for, like, MRIs and shit to see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your veins and everything or even just your tendons and figure out what's going on. And, uh, yeah. All of a sudden, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, you know, like holding on. Yeah, and, yeah. And the lady kind of built me up a little bit as if it was, I mean, I was prepared mentally that it was going to hurt like crazy because she's like, do you want tissues? I was like, for what? She's like, most people cry during this. And I was like, excuse me? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. This is how it started off. I'm like sitting there buck naked. Yeah. She's like, you sure do you want tissues? Like, a lot of people cry during this. And I was like, 
oh my god what do you mean and she's like it's a lot of pain i was like what <laughs> like i'm Who sitting there that? oh the nurse <laughs> so Jeez. i'm sitting there waiting for the doctor like 10 15 minutes like just thinking oh my god oh my god oh my god what's happening yeah and right afterwards you see the picture of your fallopian tubes and he points out everything to you and of course he knows more about my anatomy than i do right and he's like yeah you're clear they're all good there's no blockages or anything and so they give me a fucking diaper essentially yeah put me into the bathroom and then you leave of course that was the day i wore leggings sure so you had diaper butt (laughs) Um, but that's what they do to check you beforehand, you know, and everything looked and everything was good. Yeah. So that's when he was like, OK, so maybe it's PCOS, mm-hmm. which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. He's like, you have a f- he's like, you only have a few symptoms of that. Um, mainly the fact that you're irregular. Still. Right. And that's all I can really think of. Or maybe the fact that you guys just need to be together in your time window. Mm -hmm. He's like, that might be the bigger issue. Even though you guys have been trying. Yeah. Are you trying at the time that you guys need to to be trying? Because you're always out of town and Mm -hmm. he's always been out of town. And when you guys only spend one week together a month, yeah, is that really the week, you Mm -hmm. know? And so that's when we kind of had to determine those things. So anyway, I went down this weird ass rabbit hole of fucking sex positions, but then it brought up, you know, like when you Google, and it finishes your Google, like your phrase. For oh, you. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, is that what I need to be looking at? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, thank you for the recommendation. Okay. Oh, Google. So it went into different sex positions. It Kay. went into lazy sex positions. Like, okay. if you're being lazy, what sex positions to do? And if you want a sex, if you want sex positions to work out. To work out. Yeah, like you want high intensity workout sex positions. No. But, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm reading these and some of them like, oh, we do that. We do that. Oh my God, we do that. Yeah. So I thought it'd be funny to like share some of these. Sure. And you can, I mean, I don't know if you're comfortable with it and being like, oh yeah, we do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's start off with some lazy sex positions. Okay. This is going to be more up my alley. No, I'm just joking. Uh, well, I mean, missionary. Yeah, I'll be. You know. That's just easy. But they were saying that missionary is very... There was another type of missionary. I forget what it was called. Um, but it was like where the girl had her legs up. Yeah. Um, to her shoulder blades. Right? So you get more of a deeper penetration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were saying that's more... That missionary is the intimate one. Right? Yeah. Where like the guy wants to see you. Mm-hmm. And I'll even say like... Crystal even sometimes. Like I want certain weird sex positions. He's like, can I just look at you? Yeah. <laughs> You're like... like I guess no. <laughs> You're like whatever, homo. No, just I fart, sometimes I'm like that's really sweet, but as a woman, sometimes you're like, no, no. I know that's yeah. the thing is that sometimes when you know, as women, when we have sex, we're sometimes not always thinking about the sexual act and how yeah. great it feels. Sometimes we're thinking about like, oh my god, how do I look right now? Like, yeah. do I look stupid? Do my boobs look weird in this yeah, angle? Yeah, yeah. You know, just weird things like that. Yeah. So if I'm feeling fine, then I'm like, fuck yeah, totally. Uh, so missionary. I would have to look up this one. So spooning. Mm. Have you heard of spooning sex before? Yeah. Where like you know you're both just like laying That's there. That's more the like and the butts are like would be yeah, going yeah. back and forth. That's more the have done that a couple times, but that's more the like wake you up in the middle of the night type. Yeah, or like stuff, the morning. Which is fun. Yeah, or the morning. Yeah, yeah. That's what I feel like it would be. Um, some of these I felt like that were lazy are not that right. lazy. Uh, one of them. They call the right angle. Have you heard of it? No. So I'll show you it here. But they have like the woman. The woman lays on her back. And traditionally, like the woman will scoot her her ass up to the edge of the bed. Right? Yeah. And the guy, like our bed's the perfect height where Chris can just stand. Yeah. And I'll have my legs up. And that's, you know, you're just at a right angle together. Yeah. That's a classic. And I'm like. We do that for sure. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of lazy for the girl. I mean, is ever really lazy unless you're literally just laying there doing nothing? I guess it was like, kind of, that was a weird thing. Is like, this is the terminology they use. And part of me was kind of like, these aren't lazy. Like, so the next one, oral sex is not lazy to me. No. You're not just like. <laughs> yeah, lazily just like. It's a job. It's called a job. Falling asleep on a dick and yeah. waking up and falling asleep on a dick and oh, waking sure up. Like, that. oh, that's how like your yeah, really blow jobs are mm-hmm. you know what i mean like oral sex no matter if you're a guy or a girl oh for guys you're too working is, that fucking yeah. mouth muscles man yeah 
That's like, not lazy. And finger and everything. So, I mean, of course, they said oral sex was. I would say this one's probably the only laziest one. And this is the one that I feel like if you're both are kind of like, kind of want it, but then so tired, just like mutual masturbation. Yeah. Right. It's like the super. Let me just jerk you one. off really quick. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll just kiss on you when you play with your toy or yeah. something. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. That's like the one to me that's very lazy. That for me is the before work one. I have <laughs> or like literally, the scream that one. Yeah. Because I literally have a couple, you know, like maybe 10, 15 minutes. I have to get ready. We need to come into work yeah. every single day. Like that's our go to work. Well, sitch. to me, that's my lazy one. Right. Yeah. So if he, I will say this, if he wants it so bad, like so, so bad. And for some reason, I'm like just not in the mood to like give him head. Then I'll be like, can I just jerk you off? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like, and like kiss you all over and like suck on your ball, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And he'd be like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and a lot. Yeah, sure. Right. And a lot of times, cause there'll be some times that I just don't want it back. Yeah. And if he wants it that badly, I'm like, sure. Yes. If I'm not willing to like give him head really quick. Yes. Because that, to me, if I'm really lazy and not in the mood, that's still work. You know what I mean? It's still work. So part of me, I would say, like, those are good sex positions. I would not call them lazy. I wouldn't call them lazy. No. Well, to me, I feel like if you're doing any type of physical activity, like sex, yeah. I don't think you can ever call it lazy. No. But then I thought to myself, why would people want to work out during sex? See, yeah, so, like, with my right. porn rabbit holes, I don't usually go down ones where, like, I can tell that the girl is, like, not comfortable or is, like, holding, In the position? Yeah, like, holding herself up in a way that, like, I can tell she is not, it's not good, it's not fun for her, she's not able to relax. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even, like, lifting up sometimes, like, against walls or things like that, all I'm thinking is I'm so fucking heavy, heavy. I'm about to fall, I'm trying to hold myself up so that I don't, like, I'm not too heavy on you like I those kind of things I'm just like it's cool it looks cool but I know she's not comfortable yeah and so I don't like it well I'll say this is some of these it's funny because some of these positions Chris and I love yeah like the working out ones yeah they are only ones that we can do no joke as old as the sounds now like well hydrated Mm -hmm. well fed mm -hmm. you know what i mean like you cannot like cannot be tired to do these yeah and by the way you either are just doing it for a little bit or if you do it you fucking commit and a lot of times either one of us are getting fucking cramps when we're yes. orgasming yes when we're like literally at our peak it's like oh my fucking leg yeah yeah <laughs> right? yeah and sometimes it's not fun other times it's, it's a lot of fun yeah because yeah. of the way the position is so this one I've never done. Uh, I don't want to say never done, but I don't think I've seen this through completion. Have you heard of the standing splits? Um, no. Okay. So you can do it on a wall traditionally, which is probably the best. But the guy um, is standing there, right? And the, la the lady's legs are like kind of split, like one's kind of hiked up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like on one side of him and the other one's kind of on the inside. And you're basically you're standing while fucking. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to me, I'm like, that's a lot of work. So you can either. I mean, I obviously I can't do fucking splits. So as you can see, you can either do it like a fucking normal split where the girl is like literally doing a split. No. Like up the dude, like your legs on his shoulder, which I cannot do. This is the one that I saw where you know she's kind of being kind of being held yeah and no. the guy's knees like holding her body up while he's trying to fuck her against the wall and i'm like that's a lot of no right a lot yeah. of work yeah no and how long can you do that yeah no how comfortable is that going to be mm -mm. are you gonna be able to get off in that position you know what I mean like the yeah. important question sure um next one have you heard of the lotus uh i feel like i have this one's fine and I don't feel like this is a work, like a hardcore working out one too. Um, Where you're both sitting. Yeah, kind of. And it can be on like the bed. Around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a lot of times it'll happen if like, you'll see it in porn where the guy's like sitting on the couch and the girl just like. Yeah, yeah. Basically straddles him. Yeah. And like wraps her legs around him. And I guess mainly the reason why it's a workout is because of core. Like you're moving your core or something. I like, guess. Instead of your when legs. When you're on top, you're always going to be working. But I'm like, that one's that one's that bad. Yeah. Um, 
this is the one that him and I do. And this is the one where he'd be like, you want a leg workout before you do your workout? And I'm like, oh. You're like, oh and okay. it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's called the crouching cowgirl. So you know a cowgirl, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're in a cowgirl position, but instead of your knees being like on the ground or on the bed, your flat feet are just only on the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that. it's kind of like a squat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're either... But you're back on your hand. You could be back... Well, that one's called the crab walk. Oh, okay. So the crab walk one is where you're like back on your hands, mm-hmm. like, and those help you. But for me, a lot of times I'm either using him or I'm literally oh, squatting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves it. Really? Of course he does. I don't like how I look in that position. I don't. Well, I don't either. And of course, all the times I feel like we've done it, it's been like daylight out on the, yeah. the bedroom floor. I'd much rather do that exactly and then like lean back at least a little bit so I'm not like yes. full on like crap. I don't think a squat crouch naked is attractive. No, it's not. So I just don't do that. I mean, luckily for my big legs, they're like hiding most of it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I can get at least down in a, a tight squat, but it's it's work. Yeah. He's late. And there's some times where I'm like, can you help me? And he'll take my butt yeah, yeah, and help yeah. me go up and down because your legs can only handle so much deep squatting. Oh, yeah. After a while. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I got two. I mean, my old ass has got two ACL surgeries, so. You can hear my knees go sexy, super sexy. It gives us a good beat. Yeah. Good fuck too, you know? Yeah. So right. that crab walk one was also yeah. another one. Yeah. But I feel that's like a good one. that's not bad. Yeah. No. And you can do the reverse cowgirl crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever you call. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mi- <laughs> this one's stupid. I'm sorry if anyone's done this before, but this one's pretty stupid. What is it? Missionary plank. No. Have you heard of this? Ugh. I mean, I can picture it, but I don't know. The guy's doing a legit plank, like a workout. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Why would you need to do that? Correct. There's no So point. the guy's like basically in a push-up position where he's in the up position of a push-up. Mm. And the girl's underneath, and he's just like fucking her in, while holding a plank. No. That's fine. Who would want to? No. Why? Why? You know what I mean? Yeah. I like, get it. It's kind of weird. It's like you're suspended. Might as well get like a something there to you suspend go. you get in you air. A little, yeah, get you a little swing. If you're going to do that. Yeah. Have you guys done that? What? Sex swing? No. No. Don't have one. We don't have one either. Yeah. <laughs> Someone would do. I would do. I just don't have one. Yeah. I don't know. I always just, I've seen those and I'm wondering like, oh, I wonder how that would be. Now that would be lazy for the girl, right? So you're literally just like in the swing and then they can just like move do you. move oh, you. Oh, but that's easy for them too, I guess, kind of. Right? Right? Wow. Well, so when you seems, put it that way. Right? Kind of takes a lot of work out of it. Kind of makes it kind of nice Want to get a some swing? Things, yeah. So Want to get a swing? Can you imagine where to put that though? I you know? know. And like, because you can't, I mean, so I think most people have the hook somewhere. Okay. And then they like put the swing in it. Somewhere. A, so it's not just always hanging somewhere. But if you go into someone's room and they have a, a very strong eye hook in their ceiling. It, and you they know have a it's going to be one of those bike eye hooks. Has too. to be. Because it has. Like in completely round too. It needs to be like a closed eye hook and yeah. like metal and there all the time. You'll be like. Oh. You don't want a baby. You guys don't have kids. I wonder what you're hanging from there. A hammock, and right in the middle, and right in the middle, right in the, of the middle of right. Oh my gosh, it's like right above the bed, just the end of the bed, though. That's cool, fun. Have, have you ever been to someone's house and have seen a uh, stripper pole? No. I had an old supervisor in the military. Yeah, and we all went over to their house, and literally in the middle of their kitchen. Oh, mm-hmm. So you'd walk in, and there would be like the kitchen. And then, like, their eating table area. Sure. And kind of in the walkway was a stripper pole. <laughs> that was there all the time? It was or they there had all the left time. it up? Like, oh, they okay, leave okay. it up. Okay. They leave it up. Hey. And um, don't get me wrong. Like, uh, they were single. I mean, not single, but they didn't. They were, you know, childless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes they'd have parties over there. And, of course, everyone's, like, going of around course. the pole. I have a friend who has one in her garage. Yeah. And she like is more like a workout. Phenomenal. Oh yeah. my god, she's phenomenal on it. I remember specifically being like, "Hey, next time maybe I come over, can you teach me some moves?" On there, like just fun. Yeah, ones. not even for Chris, but for, I like, definitely want to like my learn, own workout. Yeah, I want to do like stripper pole, stripper pole workout stuff, but I do want it. I would want it to be like from 
a friend, right? Like yeah. in a garage. Like I don't really want to do the classes. It kind of seems like old white lady shit but like i say. do want to like i know it's a workout and it'd be kind of like fun to know don't the i know this sounds might sound bad and judgmental but don't the classes seem kind of like yeah i don't know strange weird like g- creepy it Sometimes. is creepy. There's this element of which I am. It's down always like for. in someone's garage or like basement, and it's wet and yeah. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm going to the wrong. Maybe it's maybe you're going to the The ones I've seen are. I've like never been where but the Real Housewives go, and they're in like this gym with like a floor. It almost oh, looks I've like a not yoga seen those studio. Ones. I've seen ones where it's like ghetto, kind of oh. like down in they the do basement. Look like a black box, but. Um, it's more about like getting your like feeling sexy again and like I do like that part of it I don't need to have the big high heels and all of that I just want to learn the stuff like I don't need help feeling fucking sexy but there's probably is some women that are like walking so the idea is that like walking around in those stripper heels which are like super high right yeah and like the boas and the thing like you just like feel sexy right which hey go get it white ladies but I um I would like to do it just like as a workout and then like learn some like sweet moves. Same. Yeah. Because the one time, that, so our buddies had a stripper pole up in like their spare bedroom. And so when Chris and I stayed over there for New Year's one night, I mean, we were fucked up beyond belief. Of and I'm like, hey, stripper pole. And I use my like white girl college moves. Yes, girl. On him. The only time I actually honestly use a stripper pole when he was like laying on the ground and I use it to help me fuck them essentially yeah hold me go up and down that's it yeah that's it and maybe if you like i'm sure i swung around a few times sure and like funny have you it's the the funniest thing to see people who have never done it been like oh Oh, they like try and do it it's a super hard b you need like certain muscles to be very strong to do some of these moves it's actually a really funny the only thing. thing i can do up a stripper pole is because i can do it on a rope yeah is climb up with my hands only oh with dang. my legs straight out see like that's kind of a I move can do that. that's kind of yeah a but move. that's not sexy because i'm like Hoo! yeah yeah Hoo! 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 and then, I, like, then I like slowly slide down like husband wife <laughs> yeah <laughs> right like getting stuck yeah my thighs so now i have baby girl what's your name let me talk to you let me buy you a drink <laughs> what's this t-pain isn't it like the stripper song is that the stripper song? I don't know. I feel like Chris plays like Chris I feel like a- Genuine is the stripper song. Oh, <laughs> my pony. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chris literally looked up on Pandora one day stripper playlist. Ooh, I like this. Uh huh. And I stripped for him in Niagara Falls when we were out there. Great. And it was like great place I think to it was strip. All actually, right. Yeah. Ni- nothing right sexier than Niagara Falls. Right over the big oh, waterfall. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nothing gets me in the mood. It was more. it was like a movie scene where it was like corny white girl like, oh uh-huh, yeah, like uh-huh. let me try to and it yeah. It yeah. was if anything it was just funny. Well, you tried. That's, and yeah, that's it's all he wanted, that by the way. It's thought. Do counts. we have drinking broette of the week? Yeah, we today? do, madam. Oh. We sure do. This one was submitted by Colleen Sullivan. Oh, Colleen. She goes, I don't really know. Um, oh, here we go. She's like, I don't really know where to send it, but here you go. Oh, okay. Um, she goes, I'd like to nominate all the new moms, pregnant ladies, or moms having another, another baby during this whole quarantine fiasco. She goes, I recently became a new mom, and let me tell you this. This shit is hard. She goes, then add on the hardship of not even having help because nobody can travel to you or even be around you. That shit's crazy. That's got to be hard. Yeah. My fiance and I were not even allowed to leave the labor room in the hospital to go walk around during labor. We went from being trapped in our home. They were able to be together? They weren't able to just. Oh, okay. I think like, only in New York around. they weren't letting husbands in. Were they? That was fucking That's crazy. For your up. first yeah. baby, too. They to weren't like, even allowed to walk around, though. And, you know, they only had to stay confined to their room. Mm. You know what I mean? I forget. I don't think um, I walked around. But, yeah. My fiance and I weren't even allowed to leave the labor room. We went from being trapped in our home and being trapped in the hospital room to, again, being trapped in our home. God damn. She goes, on top of all of this, he's in nursing school, and I'm a dental. I'm in dental hygiene school. Oh, my gosh. 
You and guys. They're doing everything online now while taking care of a Mm-mm. brand new baby. So Mm-mm. basically, she's like, the point of all this is I just want to highlight to all the amazing broettes out there that feel like they just can't see the light at the end of the tunnel right now and all the prenatal or postpartum depression mm-hmm. that may be weighing heavily mm-hmm. on them than usual during this time. She goes, I just want to say that you guys got this. Love and it. I know it totally blows right now, but I just want to say you guys got this. I promise you. So... I think that's an amazing reminder. Yes. To, I, I've, you know, I've had those same thoughts in my head, like, oh my gosh, what if, you know, you were to get pregnant during times like these? I can only imagine giving birth and yeah. being trapped in, you know, the delivery room and can't even leave and have people come, like your family come and yeah. see you. Like you need, and help. I know there are some people that don't have like anyone to help them, but like, you need help. If you have a mom, she's going to be there. Do you know what I mean? Like my mom was there like, you know, when I got home to help me or even just having a nanny or if you, if that's who you have to help, but you like need help. Yeah. So that's crazy and working. So like even thinking about being on a computer with a newborn to me is like, gives me such anxiety. That is crazy. And they're both in like hard schools too, nursing school and dental hygiene school. Like, but she is right in saying that, you got this like mm-hmm. in this weird way as hard as it is even like as a mom in particular like you just do it mm-hmm. and you look back on it and be like how, how the fuck like even let's just talk about not sleeping like yeah how the fuck did i do all those things on like one hour of sleep for weeks but you just do it's amazing you just do how capable your body is and how much it can push you through yeah and just as you know women being able to push through these hardships and these crazy times and just like survive coming out on top of them yeah is just i think just incredible and speaks a lot too and we are are. more we are more aware of what we're feeling too so like she's like this is fucking hard Mm -hmm. but being like it's postpartum it's being a new mom it's quarantine and like being able to recognize how you're feeling like we were talking about in the last show like yeah. recognize how you're feeling and know that it will get better Absolutely. that's a huge strength yeah and as moms or as people you have it mm-hmm. you do it seems like you don't but you do mm-hmm. and when it gets better you go like holy shit you look back and you're like yeah i'm a badass bitch dude i'm the baddest bitch i, I got don't even through know this. how i fucking did i that. didn't think i would and even but with I you did. too like being like with you know trying all this time too like you're gonna look back and be like how the f- like that was a crazy time mentally to get through mm-hmm. and then everything else and you just do yeah you just do yeah it's your badass bitch and so is all the other broettes that she is nominating that um have newborns or are pregnant or trying or everything that you're going through right now mm-hmm. you got this Hell i yeah. love that message colleen i know i thought it was great thank so, you this is radiates some big tit energy. Some big tit energy. Yes, Speaking of which, <laughs> we have those available. Do you have? Yeah, I don't have it on right now. Oh, but yeah, yeah, there's plenty of t-shirts and crops, guys. Big tit energy. You guys love it. Go to AmericanHeart.co and yeah. pick up all your swag. Some of the softest shirts like ever. Dude, and, I love them. And crops. So, and here's the thing too. Re- remember, it doesn't have anything to do with size. We don't care about breast size. We yeah, think that's not all, what we're saying. We think all boobs are amazing. There's no judgment ever there. This is, you know, the big to energy. It's the same thing as like big dick energy, but confidence, for women, right? It's like the confidence you radiate. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm passionate about who I am and like, I'm going to share it with the world. Like, yep. that's what big to energy is. Yep. So, learn it, love it, live it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl on moving on. Yeah, don't show better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes.